problem with my email. I don't know what, I must have been hallucinating. There's nothing wrong with my email. I was like, yeah, I know. I got like 25 emails from my dad yesterday. It's not an, I'm not being hyperbolic or exaggerating. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid rank sheets of Corbin. I'm Rick. <laughs> welcome to Classic Month. Woo! This is our second year of doing Classic Month. Actually, if Classic Month had a theme, I think it would be the, the theme to Cholet, probably. There you go. That was, that was so iconic. That was excellent. Iconic! But anyways, yes, uh, this is the start of Classic Month, and we watched... A film that's been uh, highly requested uh, since, since Big B came into the... I think... What was the first Big B thing we saw? Pink? Probably Pink. I think we saw Pink, and then it was like, Cholet, Diwa, uh, Cholet, Diwa, Cholet. Diwa, Cholet Diwa. Which he filmed simultaneous to each other. Came out the same year. He, talk they, talk he, about a year. He did day shoots on Cholet and night shoots of Diwa. Which is crazy. Insane! Um, anyways, but yes, came out in 1975. <laughs> Uh, it, with uh, Amitak Bakchan, directed by Yash Chopra, one of our, I think it was the second film of his? I think you're seen, right. Right? We know his name, he's done tons of stuff, but I think we've only seen two. Uh, and also starring Shashi Kapoor. Yep, Nehru, lots of Kapoors. Uh, Roy, and a whole bunch of other people. Yep. Uh, but a 1975 action crime Could you drama. I kept seeing Ren Beer from like here up in her face, especially when she turned sideways, all I could see was Ren Beer. Who? And, and... Who? His mom. Shashi. That's a guy. No. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Not Shashi. Uh, Shashi. Get guy. it out of here. His mom. Nitu Kapoor. There Nitu. you go. Uh, Thank you. What's her name? Nitu Roy? Yeah. Or, I mean, uh... Nitu Kapoor. Oh, okay. Nitu Singh. Oh, okay. I actually didn't know that that was his mom. Oh, yeah. Cool. cool. It was. I know that because I'm married to her. Anyways. But... And did you recognize... From Amar Akbar Anthony, Big B's love interest. No, I didn't know she. I didn't. I didn't make the parallel. Yeah, we yeah. had talked about how beautiful she yeah. was. Yeah. Um, anyways, but obviously, it came out in 1975. This is gonna be a hundred minutes away with you. You, if you're Indian, you've probably seen this film it's, <laughs> many, many, it's many, just, many times. It's just one of those. Yeah. Uh, films uh, that it's about. So uh, also, this is classic month. So before we start this review. Let us know uh, what other films we should watch during Classic Month. We need to be pre-1980 and before uh, for to, to qualify for Classic Month. So let us know down below and I'll vote them so I can see what you guys want to watch. Rick, your initial thoughts? Well, I want to thank the people who did the uh, prop work, particularly the blood in Amar Akbar Anthony, for also having done it in Diwar. Um, <laughs> when I saw it, I was like, oh yeah, Rick's going to love that part. <laughs> it was exactly the same orange blood. <laughs> <laughs> but if I were going to write a paragraph, and I was debating on if I should, I would basically, I would say this. For all of its flaws, and there are many on the technical side of things, you cannot deny several things about Diwar. First of all, that Amitabh Bakchan is just a freaking stud actor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that... <clears throat> the, the, you, I don't know, because I did some research. I don't know how you can not... It's like... Is there a more important film for Indian cinema in the 20th and into the 21st century than Diwar? I think that's probably arguable. So even though I found I had, I th this is probably the most flawed film I've ever really, really liked. Mm. Because ultimately this has a, I feel like this has a really special place in my mm. heart in terms of uh, just, not just Indian cinema, I think just cinema as a whole, because if you understand the history, we'll get into that in a little bit, but um, I, I really, really liked yeah. it. I liked it as well. I thought it was, there, there were obviously stuff that I would say dated. I would be more the word. Yeah. Especially like... It, you you got to give it a broad... There were a lot of stuff. Of but acceptance. It, um, and like there was, but there was also stuff that... I thought it was like 70s chic. Yes, And I was agreed. like, I really appreciated agreed. the 70s feel of it. Yeah. And I was like, this is, it almost, because I, I, I watched for the first time um, um, Sean Connery's Bond. Um, oh, yeah. A couple months back. It gave me some of those similar vibes Very in similar. terms of 
how dated those films were for the time that they were, but they were basically those made the films after that. And that's kind of the style that Hollywood stuck with for a while. Yeah. And so a lot of it the... It looks the, like it was made in the 70s. The music, yep. the costuming, some of the, some of the acting uh, in some of, like, obviously, um, the, the story uh, to go along with it was dated, but it was, like, almost, like, endearing, like, 70s chic. And even the mistakes. Yeah. So, like, I can't fault... That's the thing. I don't remember what movie we saw recently where I felt the same way. Where it was like, there's all of these blaring mistakes, but I think they did, I think I could feel how much they were doing, everyone was doing their best. Mm -hmm. And given what they had at the time and what they could do, I, I just, it's one of the most flawed movies I've ever really, really yeah. liked. And <laughs> now, there's no, I don't find flaws in the story. Yeah. I think the story is yeah. excellent. Yeah, I, and, and I did read that it was based off some film that we've never seen, but also it took inspiration from Mother India, Mother India. which obviously makes sense, right? It makes a lot of um, sense. It's basically a story of two kids who love their mommy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Essentially, it's what it is. Yeah. But this is the Amitabh Bakshan show. It is the Amitabh Bakshan show. And 100%. this, uh, one of my favorite performances of his. Uh, agreed. Uh, it was, I, I liked him more in this than I did Cholet, actually. Yeah, it's different. I, I, I like the overall film of Cholet. It Nothing wrong a, with him in Cholet. In, in Cholet gives me a Agreed. better feeling. I like the film Cholet more. But this gave me a lot of vibes of James Dean breaking out of okay. the mold of other actors. That's what I gotta say, because we're gonna talk about Big B, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I, just was, I, I just was shaking my head a lot while I was watching him. Anytime and he was on screen. Anytime he was on screen. And I was saying, because we understand the trajectory of cinema in India compared to the United States. And the grounded acting that comes from the method, which was pioneered on film first with Brando, and then a lot of other people did it and are still doing it today, the grounded nature of that really didn't start to become a hole in the industry until many, many years after this film. How Big B did it then? Yeah. And when he, no one else was really doing it at that level, he, he was, was... He was iconic in this role. Um, and, it, and whenever he was on screen, I was captivated. Captivated. And I was like, this is, this is great. I love this. And then when he's not on screen, I'm like, when's he coming back? Bring Big B back. Yep. And it might be, obviously, he was opposite Yash, um, Shashi Kapoor, who I thought did fine. I agree. But it was, it was very fun, funny because it was like the two very different styles of acting. Agreed. And like, you can see his natural... Kind of like very charismatic, and I'm sure Shashi does a, an amazing work. And I don't know if this is like what the director just wanted him to do, but he did a lot of like the Shakespearean look off to the side, the, the deliver your lines, things. yes, <laughs> yes, and all that kind of stuff. And I was like, okay, obviously this is a, a something of the time, but Big B is like, I'm I'm gonna do my thing. No, and it, it could be direction, but I don't it, know. I, I don't know because I know, for example, I read somewhere that the moment. And granted, we're assuming you've all seen it. So the moment he lights the pyre of his dad, mm. and you see the tattoo on the arm, that was Big B's catch. It was originally shot for him to be lighting it with his right hand, and he turned and, and said to Yash, I think we should shoot this with me doing it with the left hand, and you show the tattoo. Mm. So I think a lot of those choices... Or him were him yeah a hundred percent big b knowing just either through his training or his intuition which are both stellar what works and, dramatically and he just has the it factor he it's, does it just there's certain people it's something that you can't it's not it's something you're born with you're born with the it factor it's, it's what not happens something that you can train for we've said it before it's what happens when you see al pacino and robert de niro on mm -hmm. screen they can just be sitting there flossing their teeth and you're going to be riveted. Yeah, and and he has that fact. He has and that. he obviously has the talent of acting to back it up. Yep. Um, but he has a charisma, and you just you want to know what he's doing on screen. He has these amazing eyes that show such a range of emotion behind what he's doing. And, and then I thought at the this is one of the most um, amazing iconic scenes I think of any actor we've seen. But his monologue in oh uh, in the in temple the, in the temple agreed was so good. Agreed. It was. So so good. I was captivated by him just talking to the statue. Agreed. Um, uh, I, was a, I don't know if it's a statue. I apologize. I'm not trying to offend anybody. Um, but when he was in, in that whole scene, it was just, this is, this, is, yes. this is it right here. And it's why, like, for example, in the ending sequence when he's, he's running and his brother shoots at him. Yeah. And 
the, the, there's so many continuity errors on the blood markings on the white jacket, which, oh, the, the fact that he was having to wear a white jacket with all the blood and the orange blood. <laughs> yeah. All of that still didn't distract me from the epicness of this final moment. It didn't distract me from, and I, there's some small moments to, to kind of segue a little bit to the directing. The fact that the door opens up and here's this guy who was of the two brothers, he embraced the bad side, right? But it's a very Shakespearean character in that he's just not an antagonist. There's elements of this guy that you understand why he is based on his nature versus nurture. Mm -hmm. But like when the door opens up and he takes his shoes off, mm -hmm. in the midst of he's, he's dying and he's bloodied and he's running from the cops, but he still has this goodness in him to recognize, I'm going to take my shoes off. Another great direction moment when his brother finds out that the dad died and he's with his mom. And she's gonna put the sindoor on her hair and he grabs it and drops it, mm -hmm. which tells her your husband's dead. Mm -hmm. That's probably one of my favorite moments in the yeah. film, is that yeah. moment. I thought he did really, really, uh, the direction of it I thought was really nice and the way they kind of all weaved it together, even though it's, it's a long film, um, but he, I expect all the films that we watch this classic month to be long. Three hours. Three hours. That's yep. it, it, minimum. It's basically it's it's how it was made. Yep. <laughs> and so I'm expecting. I have no it. apologies and for so length. I'm like, they, if we're could have been watch, shorter. Of course it could have been. Yeah, of course. Yeah. But that's the time it was made in, right. and that's they made long films. Yep. Uh, people wanted to get their money's worth. It was. Yep. It's one of those things. Do I think you could cut some stuff out? Yeah, of course. sure. But that was but... the standard runtime of a movie back then. <laughs> I'm not gonna. Agree. I can't really fault classics for being what they are. No. Um, but. Uh, Shashi, I thought did well, but it was it was one of those things that it was the time it was like he was I don't know either told or he did a lot a lot of just delivering his lines, looking off screen, and I'm like I wish you would just have a moment with me or him, right? <laughs> just not look off to the side, please. Stop giving me th theatrical affectation. Yeah, it was very yeah. Shakespearean play. But how, again, how he would do it, and that's why I give it a broad birth because at that time Big B wasn't the norm that was that was that was the norm which is why I love actors like Marlon Brando or, or James Dean because they broke the mold of the time and they did stuff that was different he did well because it, it was how you acted at the time exactly and I thought he did well but also it was just I wasn't as interested in his character no I mean it might just be me I'm always more interested in, in villains or anti-heroes mm -hmm. he's like a, a Captain America even though I know you love Captain I America. I love Cap. You know, I, he's I my hate, favorite. I hate Cap. Cap's my favorite Avenger, uh, guys. He, you know, just the, I'm good, every, everything's <laughs> black and white, yep. I'm, I'm always going right to do the right, right thing. Right is right, wrong is wrong. It's just not my thing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and so it, it's, I'm never going to be as interested in those characters yeah. as I am of a character like Big B's, who's a much I love rare. that character so much. Um, and, you know, that's, once again, not his fault. It's... That's how those stories were written, even though this one was written very different than a lot of the stories at the time. And I do think if he had been more of the kind of actor, and this isn't fair to say, it's like, why couldn't you have been more like Big B? Well, it's like asking basketball players, why can't you play more like Kobe Bryant? <laughs> uh, I, I think it was written with enough dynamic. I, I did see in the story some of the struggle. There's a moment where he uh, is wondering about Am I, have I made the right decision? Has my brother made the right decision? Mm -hmm. It was in the script. It wasn't in the portrayal as much as it could have been, but mm -hmm. I saw in the script, it's one of the reasons I think the story is so good, uh, that in the midst of it, that even he was questioning and why he hesitated so long to go after his brother. It wasn't just because he loved his brother and he can't go after his brother. I think he was having a moral conundrum about did I, did I really choose the right path or did my brother choose the right path? Because... He's right, man. He basically said, you know, fuck the man. I'm yeah. going to go get what I'm going to go get. And obviously, I don't know how old each of them were when their dad went away. Yeah. But obviously, Big B was older. Right. And so he felt that rejection yeah. of his father just leaving, right? Uh, yeah, and I got to love that part of his character. Like when they first throw down the coin on the ground when he's a little kid. And he's like, I don't, I don't pick money up off the ground. Yep. And then he did it again later. And he throws it on the table and he's like... Money's handed to me. A bunch of iconic lines in this. Oh, yeah. Including, there's one that's in my intro for my personal channel. Uh -huh. Somebody made it for me. The... Do you, do you know what line's in my intro? Uh, on my channel? It's from Dwar. It's apparently from Dwar. And it's a big uh, B line? Yes. Um, oh, I think I know what line it is, too. Here, watch. I'll show you. Uh, I'll, I'll go to my intro here. 
uh, for, oh, that's Leland. Hey, Leland. This one right here. Oh, little Leland. <laughs> Not that one. It comes at the end. What? Which one was it? I didn't get that. <laughs> the Dawn was from Dawn. Oh. Okay, there was well, one from Dawn. There, there was one in there, because I think they put a bunch in there, because yeah. I didn't make this one, a uh, stupid baby did. Um, but there's one, I think it was from at the end when they're under the bridge, I think is... The, uh, the, 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 we had reacted to that scene. Which is a great scene. Yeah. Phenomenal scene. Yeah. Uh, but I think that the line at the end uh, is in there. Okay. Uh, from my thing. But yeah, there's a bunch of iconic lines in this. And this I, the it, writing of this was... I know it's also been referred to... Um, that a lot of the inspiration for Slumdog Millionaire, I know a lot of people don't like that film, but it's brought up, and this is true, that the creators of Slumdog, uh, because it's a very similar kind of a story about two brothers, and that there's actually, in Slumdog, that line I think you're referring to, mm -hmm. is actually quoted in Slumdog. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. Because this is such an iconic I'm film. I'm sure this is quoted in tons so of many Bollywood things. films after this. It uh, has to it be. Just like... And I, I also did Anurag bring up this film when we talked about some of his favorite films? Probably. Because this... Not only, I think, was groundbreaking on a number of levels, because I know it was. Like, for example, the, the fight sequence that looks comical, according to today's standards, with Big B in at the... At the beginning? At the beginning. Oh, I loved it. I knew you would. It was very Amar Akbar Oh, Anthony. I loved it. But it's the first time... It was of the time. It, well, it was the first time in Indian cinema history that they incorporated, which was the Hong Kong style of stunt work. It wasn't Hollywood stunt work. It was Hong Kong. And that's another great thing about this film that is... And my evolution in appreciating Indian cinema is to recognize how much of Indian cinema was influenced through Asian yeah. cinema. And this is a great example of yeah. that. They made choices that I can't judge according to what the Hollywood standards were of the day because they weren't making it based on that. It was a standalone moment and they actually incorporated Hong Kong stunt work. That, in fact, looked, this, it was the first time that was ever done. In fact, this was actually made, I think in Hong Kong, remade in Hong Kong. Was it? In a film. Yeah. Um, but like that fight scene reminded me of um, the Bond. Uh, um, oh, Sean Connery. Sean Connery's it's Bond. A, it's interesting. The fight scenes aren't, aren't great in that. If you, I don't know if no, you watch No, they're not. They're not. And th there's a moment when, it's funny you keep bringing up Bond. It was very Bond-esque to me. Well, there's a moment when he was walking by the pool when he was going to go talk to, is his name Santar? Mm -hmm. When he's going to go talk to him and he had his suit on and it occurred to me, I went, Big B could have been Bond, man. Oh, but well, I mean, he kind of played one. Don is, is yeah. a big, it's not. A but like we've talked about who yeah. could play. Of the day? Of the day, it would have absolutely been Amitabh Bachchan. Nobody Bacha. else, but Amitabh Bachchan. A hundred percent. A thousand percent. And I believe this is the film that gave him that stamp of the angry young man. This is yeah. the first film I think he in had, that. I think he'd done a couple before, but this is one that kind of, I think they said it cemented him in that yeah. role. And I, I thought, I'll, have we seen a bad performance of Amadag Bakchan? No. I think it's like Pankaj or Nawaz. There's just, there's no... Well, there was, there was that one, um, Gulabo Sotabo, it wasn't a bad performance. We just didn't, we didn't, we like didn't the understand movie. the film. But he was we fine. Were kind of bored. Uh, but it was, the, his performance was good. He was believable as the yeah. old, cranky old man. You no, know, there's a certain level you get to as an actor where you are so good at what you do that even in trash with a trash script, you're still, you're still, I don't have a problem. You may not blow me away like you typically do. Like whenever Meryl does roles, most of the times I'm shaking my head going, this, this woman, you know, same thing, Tom Could Hardy. Yeah. Sorry. Oh. Tom Hardy, I shake my head. And we talked about that. Venom. <laughs> but Tom Hardy's good. Mm -hmm. I didn't like up and uh, don't look up. Mm. Meryl, he even, it's very, takes a big stretch for like a Mark Rylance to not do well. Mm. Um, I don't know that we've seen Big B do anything that isn't good. And I wish we could do like a Big B month. I just, I would feel bad because obviously that would all be Bollywood. And yeah. I, I like to mix it up and for, for, for all different regions. Yeah. But he could, he can warrant. I mean, as many actors can. Yeah. Uh, Kamal Sans, you know, uh, Russian Kants, you know, all those people. But he... Like, there's so many of his films I just want to get to because he, I, I think he's so good yeah. in, in, in his roles and he's so, like, charismatic in his roles, so he brings all that to it. And so, yeah, I, I thought this film was 
was absolutely fantastic in terms of just entertainment value and, and what it meant at the time. And, yeah. Obviously, and I, I think, it, like I had said, it has its dated flaws. It does. Like, I thought it was like, I thought it was charming almost. So there'd be some of you who might comment and go, well, I thought you guys hate melodrama because we brought that up. About, oh, they just definitely asked them, for sure. We brought that up with 83. Mm -hmm. Well, that's because melodrama from 40 years ago <laughs> was acceptable. Mm. It's no longer acceptable in the same way that hairstyles from 40 years ago yeah. aren't acceptable. That's a very joking kind of a comparison. There's just certain things about it, but in this, what I would ordinarily, like if a film did today, I'd be like, guys, really, it's not working. Unless you were doing it in Nacho Libre or, or Anchorman. Mm -hmm. yeah. These moments where somebody says something like, Big B, <laughs> Big B's he's told you're gonna go and you're gonna bring these guys with you, and he says, I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna do it alone. And then there's four different guys like this that go, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> love, yeah. That's what I was talking. About. It's like the the, the, the dated quirks are yes. it's, it's just endearing. After like, if if you watch it in two, 2021, you're just like, that's funny, but I love it for the time. It's, exactly. It's, it's, it's like watching old Batman. Yeah. You know the original uh, Batman series. It's so bad, but it's endearing. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I thought this. Uh, I could definitely watch this film again. I, oh, if it I was would. on. I'd be like, this is. I'm gonna sit and watch. Him. I would. Um, in terms of like how much I enjoyed it, Amir Akbar Anthony is, I think, hilarious. But this is obviously a much better film overall. Yeah. Um, but in terms of like one that I could just sit and laugh at, I know you can. No, I could. Amir Akbar Anthony is. But I'd turn on Pedosa. I'd turn on Pedosa, not, not Amir Akbar <laughs> Anthony. <laughs> but anyways, let us know what the next classic. Oh, I did want to say, even though I thought they were good, I thought these songs in this were kind of forgettable. I yeah. can't even actually remember one of what what they really were. They were the songs were and and the they score were good, but they weren't like iconic. So much of the score was mixed really, 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 really low. So mm -hmm. there was really nothing about the score. No offense, I'm sure that the, it, it was a lot of work that was put into that with the score. Uh, uh, you know, I I but it just I agree. Yeah, the things that stood out to me were um, Big, Big B, Big B, and the story. Yeah, the story and the great. iconic nature of it, um, and it's it, it being such an achievement in Indian cinema at the time. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So let us know what you thought about this film and uh, what should be the next classic and the next big B. I think we have them all. Yep, back here. Yeah, we have them all. Oh, yep. there's Dewar right there. Hey, let us know down below. <laughs>